Hello and welcome to the Listen to My Radio broadcasting series. In this tutorial we are going to be taking a look at how to broadcast with NiceCast to our Shoutcast v2 servers. The first thing we need to do is get uh, logged into CentOverCast. Um, to do that uh, you need to use the uh, Control panel link, username and password that you received when you uh, ordered the Shoutcast package. Uh, so go into your email and find that email. It will contain the details. Um, when you open the email, you will see Control panel and the link. Click on that link. And now just use the username and password provided here to log in to your uh, control panel. So we'll just copy the username and the password and use those to log in. Now that we have explained the differences between Shoutcast 1 and Shoutcast 2, it's time to uh, start broadcasting. The first thing we need to do to set up NiceCast is actually have AutoDJ enabled and playing. In this tutorial we are going to be mainly explaining how to uh, broadcast live when AutoDJ is enabled. If you want to just broadcast live, the only thing you uh, need to do different than in this tutorial is you have to um, keep AutoDJ disabled and you have to use the port listed under account overview on the overview page instead of using the uh, the port that we will be explaining later on. Um, the first thing you need to do now is get AutoDJ enabled and playing if it isn't already. Um, if you, uh, For details on how to do this, please see our AutoDJ tutorial in our knowledge base. Uh, once you have AutoDJ enabled, uh, we need to uh, set up NiceCast for broadcasting. Uh, to do that, we first need to get some uh, connection details. To get those, uh, click on Quick Links under General and scroll down to the Live Source Connections area. Um, Now let's bring up NiceCast. The first thing you need to do uh, in NiceCast is bring up the show, uh, server window. To do that, go to the window tab here and click on show server. Alternatively, you can use command 2 to bring up the window. Uh, once the window is uh, up, you need to set up a new server. I already have a server set up here, so I'll delete it first. Um, now you need to set up a server. Uh, to do so, click on the uh, plus button here. And uh, the next thing you need to do is uh, set it as the default server. To do that, you need to click the button here. The uh, blue button with the black dot in the middle indicates the default server. Um, now we need to set up the server. Uh, in the first field you can enter the name of this server. This is just for identification purposes so you know which server is which. Uh, we will call this one tutorial server. Um, the next thing you need to do is get the IP or address, the port and the password. Um, an important thing to note here is that uh, NiceCast doesn't support Shoutcast 2 fully, so uh, you can't enter the username as you would uh, in a software that fully supports Shoutcast 2. Instead, you will uh, enter the, both the username and the password into the password field. We will explain how that is done later on. Um, for now, we need to get the uh, IP or address. 
or and the um, port. Um, go back to Centova Cast and under server host name you will see the IP of your station. Copy that IP and paste it into the uh, address field in NiceCast. Um, I made a mistake here and uh, uh, I copied a blank space, several actually, into the address field. Um, if you do this, you will have problems with connecting to the server. Um, if you do get some errors when you are trying to connect later on, um, please check the address and port for blank spaces. Uh, you would be best advised to just type both the IP and port in if you get such errors. Uh, the solution is usually simply you just have to delete the blank spaces both at the beginning and the end. In this case uh, there is no blank space at the end. Um, the next thing we need to get is the port. Um, usually if your broadcasting software supports um, Shoutcast 2 fully you would use this port, but because NiceCast doesn't at the time of this recording support the uh, Shoutcast v2 protocol fully, we will use the uh, Shoutcast v1 protocol. Um, you can, uh, your station should be fully functional even though you are using the v1 port because uh, Shoutcast is backwards compatible, so you shouldn't experience any problems with this. Um, just get the port and copy it and then paste it into the port field in NiceCast. Um, the next thing we need to do is uh, get the password, but because we haven't set up any uh, DJ accounts yet, we first need to do that. To do so, uh, scroll up and under configuration, click on DJs. Um, I already have an account set up here, so I'll delete this first, and then I'll create a new account uh, by clicking on create a DJ account. The first thing you need to, uh, fill, in to uh, fill in is the username you want for this account. We will just uh, call it tutorial. The next thing you need to do is enter the password. We'll do that as well. And then you uh, need to enter the real name. The real name uh, basically is an indicator so you know which account is which. Um, you can enter whatever you want here. We'll just enter tutorial. Um, the next thing you need to do is set up the permissions. Um, the permissions, they indicate how much access the this account will have in CentovaCast. Um, and uh, we want to give it full access but if you want to just give it one permission you can click on just one or hold down uh, control or command on a Mac and uh, you can select multiple of these or if you want to select them all you can uh, click on the first one while holding shift and then clicking on the last one to select all of them. Um, you can also set up login restrictions. They are time based. You can set the day of the week where uh, on which the user can access day or days on which the user can access uh, uh, CentovaCast with this account. By default it's set to 24-7, uh, 24, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, um, but you can change it uh, to whatever you want. We want it to uh, work 24-7, so we'll leave, the, leave this at uh, the defaults and uh, to save the changes click on the save button and then to apply the changes, click on the restart button here under server. Click OK here. And the server has restarted and the a new account has been applied. Now, because uh, NiceCast doesn't um, support uh, Shotcast 2 fully, it, do it doesn't provide a username field. So we have to enter both the username and the password in the um, password field. Doing that is pretty simple, but you have to use a specific form. You have to use 
the username colon password. So in this case, uh, we will enter tutorial as our username, then uh, the colon, and then the password, and that's it. Now that we have uh, set up the server here, you can close this window and return to the uh, main NiceCast window. Now we need to set up the source. Um, click on the source button here and it will um, uh, allow you to select a program that will be used as the source of your music. By default that application is iTunes and we will we'll leave it at the default but um, you can change the application by clicking here on select and selecting any of the running applications. Um, once you have done this move on to the info tab. Under info you can enter the name of your radio or your stream. Um, we'll just enter a name here um, listen to my radio stream. Under URL you can set uh, the uh, you can set the website of your radio if you uh, have one if you don't you can just leave it blank um, we want her. Um, you don't really have to fill out the rest of these fields we won't but uh, if you want you can uh, we will just move on to the titles field um, we will leave the titles on default by default they will um, send the artist and the title of the song that's currently playing when uh, if the player that your listeners are using supports title streaming they will see the album and the title of the uh, song that you are currently playing once you have selected these uh, you can proceed to the quality tab um, the quality tab is important because you have to set the bitrate of the of your station here if you don't know the bitrate of your package you can uh, find it out by going back to Centavacast and going into the quick links then scrolling down to the live source connections and under maximum bitrate you can see the maximum bitrate of your package in our case that's 32 kilobits per second we'll just select that the last tab here is effects. Um, effects have several options but um, the most interesting option for most people is the voice, uh, voiceover effect. Um, we already have that added here so we'll delete it and start from scratch. So once you open up effects it will look like this and you need to add the effects you want to use. There are a lot of effects here, so we will just uh, mention the uh, how to use the voiceover and we will leave the rest for you to discover. So to get voiceover, click uh, here where it says click here to insert effect. And under uh, 4FX effect, you can um, select voiceover, which is the um, second last. Uh, click on it and it will show up here. Um, most of the time unless you have multiple sound cards or something like that you can just leave these at the defaults. If you however know what you are doing and uh, if you have multiple sound cards you can select the input device here. Once you have done that you can go to the crossfade tab. Um, the crossfade basically determines uh, how uh, your sound is going to be. By default it's set all the way to voice. What that basically means is um, you, when you uh, start voiceover only your voice will be heard. Most uh, broadcasters don't want that. They want uh, their voice with uh, music playing in the background. So we can set this to something like 70% and then uh, music your voice will be heard very clearly, but um, music will play in the background. Um, for auto docking, you can just leave it at the default. Uh, now, when you want to um, to use voiceover, you just have to click on the start button here, 
and then when you want to stop using voiceover just click uh, on stop and music will resume playing. If um, this window gets closed either ac accidentally or if you close it you can open it up uh, again by clicking on the editor, editor tab here and it will show up again. To start voiceover just click on the start button here and once you're done you can click on stop to resume the music playing. Now that we have set up all of these options here um, we can try connecting to the server just click on start here okay so now uh, that it says on air here we are connected to the server and we can um, start broadcasting um, to play a song just go to iTunes and play something anything that you now play in iTunes will be broadcast to your server um, if you don't get on air here when um, when you try to connect uh, usually the state will give you some indication of what the problem is um, if you can't find a solution yourself you are always welcome to contact support and we will help you fix it um, the last thing you need to do uh, well, you don't have to do it but you can if you want to is uh, check if your broadcast is working correctly by listening to it. Um, we'll just start the song here in uh, iTunes and um, we will check if it's working correctly. We'll proceed to Centovacast to check if our stream is playing. Uh, to do that you can either uh, go to Quick Links and download one of these and listen in your desktop player. Please note that if you are broadcasting from iTunes you can't listen to your stream from iTunes for obvious reasons. Um, so you have to select another player like QuickTime or a VLC or something like that. But the easiest way to listen to your stream is actually to use the built-in player in CentOverCast. Just click on the play button here and your stream should start playing. That's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out our knowledge base. And thanks for watching.